our show is big. Play that music, it's a super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air together. Yeah! Wow! Hooray! The secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. <laughs> Scientific fact. Lots of different animals drink together at watering holes in the jungle, like zebras. And monkeys. And lions. Roar! And polar bears. There are no polar bears in the jungle, Sophie. But this polar bear won an all-expense-paid vacation here, where it's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Here comes a fire truck! Is Firefighter Erica there? Can you see her? Yep! And Firefighter Rob, too! Cool! I bet they're going to put out a fire or rescue someone. Ooh, I'd love to be a firefighter. Me too. Me too! Why don't all four of us be firefighters? We can be a team. Yeah! A team! Yippee! Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> Where to, Sophie? Hold on, everyone. We're headed for Snow Globia. Let's do it. Yay! Awesome. Now to find someone to rescue. Tessa, look. I think someone found us. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh goodness. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Excuse me. We're firefighters. Can we help you with something? Yes, you can. Well, maybe you can. I hope you can. Can you? We'll do our best. What's wrong? A friend came to visit me, and now she can't get home. Too much snow, don't you know? Don't worry. This firefighting team will get your friends home safe and sound. Firefighters to the rescue! Uh, what's wrong, Sophie? I don't know. Rats! We're stuck in the snow! Come on, team. Let's work together and dig this truck out. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, my. My friend will never get home now. This is tragic, terrible, awful! Don't worry. We'll get her home. It just might take a little while. Hmm. Or maybe not. I have an idea! I don't think a fire hose can dig us out of the snow. I think Sophie has a different idea. Whoa. <sighs> Mia, can you turn on the automatic hose winder, please? Okie dokie. Oh, yay! Great idea! 
I never would have thought of that, Sophie. <laughs> that was brilliant! Now let's go rescue my friend! Firefighters to the rescue! Oh, 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 my friend! There she is! Your friend is a giraffe! A giraffe in the snow! They won an all-expense-paid vacation here and couldn't resist! They? She and her baby daughter. <laughs> Woo! Team, let's help the baby get off the ice. Don't worry, we firefighters will get you both home safe and sound. This is gonna be a little harder than we thought. Why don't we try using the rescue bucket? Great idea, Tessa. It's not moving. There's ice all around it. It's frozen. Come on. Maybe if we work together, we can lift her out. But first, we need to get her to the side of the pond. Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's too big. We can't lift her. We have to keep trying. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. Mia and Emma, come with me. Don't worry, little giraffe. We'll rescue you somehow. <laughs> <laughs> a baby giraffe can't climb a ladder, Sophie. You're right, Emma. Turn on the water, please, Mia. Okay. <laughs> Water? What's that for? The water froze into an ice ramp. Maybe the little giraffe can climb up it. I think Sophie has a different idea. Tessa, can you skate the baby up to the ramp? I'll try. Oh, I do hope this works! Whee! Brilliant, genius idea, and such teamwork! You have really good ideas, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts home. Oh, goodness. That ice ramp certainly does look like a lot of fun. <laughs> well, oh, maybe just one quick slide. Whee! <laughs> oh. Whoa! Oh, my. Could I get a little help here, please? What's wrong? Can't you just fly down? I'm afraid we penguins don't fly. This definitely calls for a firefighter rescue. But our rescue bucket is frozen to the truck. And our rescue ladder is frozen to the pond. We need a different idea, Sophie. Maybe today penguins can fly. Huh? Are you ready to fly, penguin? Oh, my. This does sound exciting. Yes! I'm ready! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun. Great job! 
<laughs> I did it! The firefighting team made me fly! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That was a different and very cool way to rescue a penguin, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts back home. Yay, team! We did it! Go firefighters! <laughs> <laughs> we make a great rescue team, guys. Yeah, woohoo! Your ideas were so helpful, Sophie. Yeah, they were really different. Sophie, come look. Okay. Ta-da! Whoa! Awesome! Cool. Your polar bear on vacation took her jungle friends on an ice-filled adventure. Cool! <laughs> let's play! Yeah, let's play! Shake it together! <laughs> He's running! He's running! And he slides! Huh? Whoa! Careful, Eddie. I'm dancing here. Oops. Sorry. Speak. Roll over. Ugh. Tessa, can you stay over there, please? Sorry, but I need space for my dancing. My baseball game needs lots of space, too. And my animals need lots and lots of space. I'm going to have a zillion animals in my very own castle when I grow up. I'm going to play any way I want to in my grown-up space. I'm going to sing and dance in my space anytime, all the time. Hey, why wait? We can go on an adventure and have our own grown-up spaces right now. An adventure! adventure. Great, come on, let's go! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. But it is pretty cool. Hello! I'm Perry Peacock. I help people find the perfect space to live in. And this is the friendliest space in town. Are animals allowed? Is there lots of room to play? Are the ceilings high? I jump really high when I dance. Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, we have only one rule here. Be friendly to each other. Ooh! When, when can, can we, we move, move in? in? Right now! Yes! Cool! Let's go! Enjoy! And remember, be friendly! Cool! I can't wait to play wall to wall, any wall, all over this place! Even a hundred. <laughs> ah, Steady Eddie is ready to play. <laughs> okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Boogie to the beat. Tessa style. 
Say something. Oh! Oh, he's shaking the whole building. from this building today. Uh, are you being friendly? They started it, not me. Well, I have to practice. Hey, guys! I'm not the problem. Um, excuse me. We're not listening. Mia's right. We haven't been listening to each other at all. No, I guess not. So let's talk. One at a time, okay? Eddie? <sighs> okay. So, I want to play games in my place. And I want to sing and dance in my place. And I want lots of animals in my place. But your animals are messing up my games. And I can't sing because of your loud games. And your singing keeps bothering the animals. Hmm. Maybe having our own space doesn't mean we can do anything we want any time we want. Maybe we have to listen to each other, too. And be friendly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... I guess I could only sing and dance in the morning. I could keep less animals inside. Maybe just a cat. And a dog. And a bird. Oh, and of course my goldfish. I'll take the others to the jungle where they'll have lots more room to play. I could play my outdoor sports outside and only play indoor sports inside. Yes! Excellent! Now you're following our one and only rule, being friendly to each other. Thank you. Goodbye! <coughs>
again. Now I see that we all need our own space sometimes. And sometimes we can share. Let's do that sharing thing now. Great! How about a game of kickball? <laughs> Over here! <laughs> oh. Time out! Sophie and Colby are playing here. Right. Our noise might bother them. And the ball might hit their sandcastle. Oh, when Lucky's trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on the other side of the yard. It's the friendly thing to do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Cycling truck. Oh, I don't think the mail truck is ever going to get here. I know how you feel. One time I ordered a book about the rainforest, it felt like it took forever to get it. Yeah, I wish time would hurry up. We should go on an adventure. Maybe your package will be here when we get back. An adventure? Yeah, a mail carrier adventure in fairy tale land. I bet they deliver a lot of great stuff there. Yes! Let's do it, Kobe. But first, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Can't go to fairy tale land without my tiara. <laughs> cool! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be what we have to deliver. <gasps> wow. Let's see. This delivery is for Humpty Dumpty to help him get down from walls. Oh, and these bowls are for the three bears for their porridge. <sighs> wow. Someone must really be looking forward to getting that. It's for Fairy Godmother, Kobe. <gasps> it even has a wand. Wow! Here's
us a map for our deliveries, Mia. We'll start here at the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Um, do we have to deliver there first? It's the closest place. And I bet the Fairy Godmother really wants her new outfit. Yeah, but don't you think Humpty really wants his ladder? I mean, he's stuck on a wall. He could have a great fall. You might be right, Mia. Okay, let's deliver there first. Great. I'll ride back here and make sure nothing gets broken. Okay. Oh, I wish we never had to deliver you. I wish I could just look at you forever. <sighs> We're here! Oh! I'll be right back. Hi! Princess Mia! How lovely to see you! Aw, thanks! We're delivering your new ladder. But how did you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I was picking apples with my friend the giant. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. Ah. Hi, giant! Hello! That's the giant up there. <clears throat> he accidentally grabbed my ladder a little too tightly. Oopsie! But can't he just pick you up and lift you down? Scientific fact, eggs crack when they're squeezed too tightly. <sighs> this will help you get down. <gasps> Stop Fairy Godmother's Cottage, just around the corner. No, not yet. I just want to keep you here with me a little bit longer. Wait! Let's deliver to the Three Bears next instead. But the cottage is closer, Mia. And the fairy godmother probably wishes we would hurry, just like you wished the mail truck would hurry with your package. Yeah, but it's almost lunchtime, and the bears are getting new bowls for their porridge. And Papa Bear gets very grumpy when he has to wait for his lunch. And no one likes a grumpy bear. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's deliver to the bear family next. Yay! <laughs> They're special temperature-controlled bowls. Your porridge will never be too hot or too cold again. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you order four bowls? There are only three of you. Hello? Bears? Yeah, it's me, Goldilocks. Got any porridge? That's why. Ho. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mia, now it's on to the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. It's getting kind of late, Kobe. Maybe we should deliver the Fairy Godmother's outfit tomorrow. I know you love this Fairy Godmother's outfit, but she is going to love it too. Think of how you feel, waiting for your package from your aunt, and how excited you're gonna be when it finally arrives. It will be amazing. I bet that's how Fairy Godmother feels too. Oh, I never thought of it like that. She's probably feeling the same as me right now. When you're deciding what to do, try to think if that was you, would it feel good or feel bad? Make you happy or feel sad? That's empathy. Remember how it feels. How she feels too. I bet for her, it's hard.
to wait Just like me And that's not great We should hurry to her place Put a smile upon her face That's empathy Remember how it feels to you Empathy And that might be how she My heart sparkle. I thought it would never get here. It would have been here sooner, but I was having a hard time letting it go. That's okay. I know how you must have felt. Of course, because you have empathy. Well, I also have a wand. Shall I test it out? Oh, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. <laughs> Digga, digga, do! Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Yeah! Hi, guys! We're back! Hello! Mia! Mail carrier Ethan was just here! He delivered your package! Hooray! Cool! Uh, thank you! Bye-bye! Mia, hurry and open it! Let's see! Yeah! Oh, what is it? <gasps> Homemade chocolate chip cookies! Ooh! Zigga digga doo! And there's enough to share. Cool! <laughs> Yummy! But first, I always feel good when someone says thank you. So, I'm going to make my aunt a thank you card. Hey, let's all make cards! While we're eating the cookies! Yeah! Yes. Great idea, Eddie! Woohoo! Look at me! I'm in first place! Oh, not for long! <laughs> Excuse me! Speedboat coming through! Vroom, vroom! Tessa, you knocked my sailing ship over! And your ship landed on my rowboat, Mia. Sorry, Colby, but Tessa bumped into it. Sorry, Mia, but a speedboat needs lots of room so it can go really fast. Maybe we should find a ship that we can all play with together. Great idea, Sophie. We can play with... My rowboat, my speedboat. Those are too small. We should play with my big sailing ship. Your sailing ship is big, Mia. But I was thinking we could play on a really big ship. On a sailing ship adventure. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Have a fun trip. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Nothing better than sailing a big ship on the open sea. Whee! And since Eddie isn't here, I'll be the captain today. <laughs> Actually, I think Eddie wanted me to be captain today. Did Eddie really say that, Mia? Well, not exactly. But he always lets me be captain sometimes. Mia! This way! This way! Not that way! This way! I'm the captain! 
Can I help? No, I've got this. Yeah. Yes. Land ho! Uh oh. I better go steer the ship away from that island. Guys, stop! Uh, I'm Captain Mia. No, I am. Uh, someone better steer now, or we're gonna run into that island. I know how to do it. Let me steer. <gasps> I'm Captain. <gasps> no, I am. Guys, wait. we should do? ship back onto the ocean. But how? And where did Tessa go? I'm up here! I know how to get us off this island and back to sea! I just need to raise the sail so the wind can push it! Ugh. Looks like you need help, Tessa! No thanks! Captain Tessa can do it by her! did need a little help. We have to find a way to get our ship back in the water. Yeah, I do not want to be here when it starts to get dark. Me neither. A pretend fire won't give us very much light. At least we have all these delicious marshmallows to eat. Those aren't marshmallows, Mia. They're coconuts. They're pretend marshmallows. I'm going to roast my pretend marshmallow over our pretend fire. Okay. I just wish I was pretend hungry. <sighs> what was that? Huh? Whoa. Ah! Scientific fact. Things that roll are easier to move. Okay, but what are you going to do with those logs? I'm going to put the logs under our ship and roll it back out to sea. And then Captain Kobe will sail us back home. So, how are you going to get the logs under the ship, Captain Kobe? Oh, I didn't think about that. <sighs> May I have a pretend marshmallow, please? I can do this! Do you want some help, Mia? Uh, nope! I got this! As captain, I command you to move back into the water! I guess I'm just not strong enough to move it. And I'm not strong enough to get the logs underneath it, so it could roll. And I wasn't strong enough to keep the sail up so the wind could push it out to sea. None of us can make the ship move by ourselves, but maybe we can make the ship move together. Okay. How? Well, if we all work together, we can try to push the ship onto Kobe's logs. Then we could all raise the sail and the wind might be strong enough to help roll the ship back out to sea. Let's do it! Yes! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. 
three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun! One, two, three, four! One friend can be helpful. Two can help much more. It's better when there's three. charge of the best crew ever. Because we all work really well together as a team. All Yay! right! All hands on deck. OK. Let's do it. Yeah! missed a really fun adventure. We landed on a desert island! And an elephant even gave us a push home! Sounds cool! Yeah, we've been having fun too! We're making a whole city out of sand! Awesome! Yeah, awesome! Great job! Thanks! Wanna help? Sure! I'll be the mayor leader person of the city. Oh, I mean... We can all work together to make Sand City the greatest city ever! Yay! Whee! Awesome! Let's do it! Bucket. It's okay. Try again, Jack. Jumpin' Jack will now attempt to make the winning basket. He takes careful aim and... Ooh, so close. <sighs> oh, well. You can look at my book with us instead, Jack. Yeah. 
There's pictures of all these cool animals they discovered in the jungle. I wish I could discover how to get my ball down. Hmm. <gasps> we'll help you. We can use this ball to knock that one down. Kobe rolls the ball. And he kicks it. And hits the branch and... The winning mask is made! Woo! Yeah! Yes! Together, we can do anything. Maybe even make a big discovery. Like a new jungle animal. Like in my book. Sure. Even that. Yeah! Let's go to the jungle and see what we can find! Okay, let's do it! Super brave jungle explorer, Eddie. We're here to see what kind of new animals we can discover. What are you doing, Jack? I'm going to record all the stuff we do today. Then we can watch it later. Great. Cool. Hey, look. Awesome. I'll drive. Let's go. <laughs> the eating habits of these two amazing creatures are especially interesting to watch. Bologna and mm. jelly, my favorite. Mm. Come and have a sandwich with us, Jack. Okay. Bologna and jelly. So tasty. <laughs> Guys, look! Mm. Wow! Huh? It's kind of like a hippopotamus and kind of like a leopard. It's, um, uh, uh, a lepopotamus. Huh? I've never heard of that. That's because we just discovered it. Wow! We did it, Kobe. Together we discovered a new jungle animal. So what do we do now? Well, scientists are supposed to learn everything they can about a new creature. We'll help you do that. But what if he goes deep into the jungle? No problem. I'm a great explorer. There's no place I can't go. And I'll help you get the first pictures of a genuine lepopotamus. Hey, where'd he go? Animal expert Kobe has found some lepopotamus tracks. These prints look kind of leopardy. And hippos like to nibble on bushes. I think I hear it. Over there. so I could get his whole body. Yeah. Any ideas how to do that, animal expert, Kobe? Hmm. Uh, hippos love melons. He might come out for that. Perfect. There's a melon tree right over there. Brave explorer Eddie 
will swing across the pond to get a melon. Brilliant! Now animal expert Kobe and I will follow. Yes! Come on! Um, I don't know if I can. Sure you can, Kobe. We're here to help you. Well, okay, I'll try. Uh, uh, oh. Gotcha! I did it! Yes, animal expert Kobe has bravely made it to the other side of the pond. Now together, Kobe and Eddie will use melons to try to get the lepopotamus out of the water. Here, Lepopotamus, come and get it. Huh? Oh, no. Our great discovery has disappeared again. Tracks tell us he came this way. There he is, the Lepopotamus. This, Jack? Wow! No, Jack! He's up here! Truly amazing! We found not one, but two lepopotamuses! Huh? It's just a leper. And that's a plain old hippo. So I guess there is no such thing as a lepopotamus after all. We just found two animals who like to play together. But we saw it! And Jack recorded it. Yeah, let's look back and see. Here's when we first got here. Hey, there they both are. And look, now it looks like they're one animal, but they're not. Look at this. The hippo's in the water, the leopard's on the shore. Sorry, Kobe. I guess we didn't help you make a big discovery after all. Yeah, but thanks for trying, guys. Wait, we did make a big discovery. Watch. Kobe, you discovered that you can swing across a pond. And Eddie discovered he knew more about animals than he thought. And I discovered that discovering things is fun. So we all helped each other discover something new. Yeah, cool. So we didn't find the creature called the Lepopotamus. But we discovered lots of stuff, and that's a great big plus. I know more things than I thought. I like to swing an awful lot. I recorded every shot. discovered a new kind of animal, a lepopotamus. Oh, I want to help almost discover a new animal too. Can I, please? Okay, sure. But first, let's all go help each other discover some snacks. Okay, then discover some animals. Snack time! <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I wonder if there's a chocolate cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepy time, there you go. I'm digging for treasure. Want to help? Shh. You'll wake up the baby. Oh, sorry. Hmm. That's not going to work. Oh, well. <gasps> hey! I found something! Whoa! A compass! 
compass. Cool. Scientific fact. A compass can help you when you get lost. Shh. The baby is trying to sleep. Oops. Uh, sorry. Look behind you, Eddie. I think it's a map. Huh? Cool. Oh, that was just a treasure map I was trying to draw. A treasure map? Uh-huh. But then I remembered, there's no treasure buried in the backyard. There's none in the yard, but there's always treasure buried on a desert island. That's right. Maybe your map would work there, Tessa. There's only one way to find out. An island adventure! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah! Woohoo! Quiet! Uh, sorry, sorry. Mia, do you want to go to the desert island with us to look for buried treasure? No thanks. My baby needs me here more than you need me there. Okay, see you later, Mia! Bye bye. Later! Bye -bye. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Let's go! All right, yeah! Sing a dig a doo! Woohoo! Okay, guys, let's find some buried treasure. We need to find a big X. That's where the treasure's buried. That's always where the treasure's buried. But how do we find the X? Uh, can I look at the map, Eddie? Sure. Uh-oh. I think I dropped my compass. I'll be right back. Hmm. I must have dropped it around here. Hey! Oh, yep. Here it is. Huh. What's that? An egg? Cool! Come on! Treasure! Be right there! What? Whoa! A baby turtle! I didn't know turtles came from eggs. Hello there. You are so cute. Are you alone? Where are your friends? Or your family? Aw. Gotta go, little guy. I have a treasure to find. I think the map is telling us to go into these trees. What kind of treasure do you think we'll find? I hope it's gold or jewels. I hope it's chocolate. I hope that little turtle's okay. Eddie, this treasure hunt is your best idea ever. Yeah. Zig a dig a do. Huh? Oh. Yeah, thanks. You okay, Eddie? Yeah, but I left something back on the beach. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. Uh, okay. Phew! You're okay. <laughs> but you're still alone, huh? <laughs> I sure wish you had some friends to keep you company. Well, don't worry. I'll help you find someone. Then it's back to the treasure hunt. I think... I think we're supposed to march over the coconut. <laughs> oh. Or around the coconuts. Maybe the map is upside down, Kobe? Or sideways? I don't know, but I bet Eddie's compass can show us the right direction. Hey, where is Eddie? He said he'd catch up. Eddie! 
We're waiting for you. Bring your compass. Uh-oh. My friends need me to help with the treasure hunt. I'll go help them and then come back. You stay here, okay? <laughs> no, you stay here. Stay. Stay. Huh? Where are you, little guy? Oh, no. How'd you get in there? Let me help you, little guy. Um, I don't think we're going to find the treasure without Eddie and his compass. You're right, Sophie. Let's go back and see what's taking him so long. Good plan. You can't come with me, but you won't let me go without you. My friends need my help to finish the treasure hunt, but you need me too. What should I do? What should I do? I think you need me more than my friends do right now. They'll come back here after they find the treasure. So don't worry, I'm staying right here. In the meantime, we can, um... Uh... What do baby turtles like to do? I don't know what to do with you But I think you're gonna help me learn what I should do You're gonna learn it too Cause it's fun to be the one who's helping, the one who's helping you. Sometimes it's better when you stay, even if you wanna play. When there's a friend who needs your help, you can sit and share some. Kelp? It's fun to be the one who's helping. It's fun to be. Did you guys find the treasure? <gasps> there it is! Huh? huh? The X! That marks the spot where the treasure is! We're right back where we started! Hey! I think I already found the treasure! It's this baby turtle! Aww! He's so cute! So, you mean the treasure isn't gold or jewels? Or chocolate? No! It's this baby turtle! I named him Eddie Jr. Eddie Jr. looks really happy. Good job taking care of him, Eddie. Thanks. But I wish there were some other turtles around who knew what to do next. Scientific fact. Sea turtles hatch on the beach, then crawl straight to the water. But they usually hatch in big groups. So his friends must have already gone out to sea. So I should help him crawl out to the sea too, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll help you, little guy. Here we go. <laughs> Boy, did I love taking care of you, Eddie Jr. But it's time to say goodbye. to go. Bye, Eddie Jr. I'm glad you found your friends. Want me to hold her for a while? You want to hold the baby? Great. 
I'll be right back. Right after I get a snack and freshen up my bow and play some checkers and maybe some jump rope and build a sand castle with soapy. Little people. 